Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Busy Mom Creations. My name is Ishita and I get for you really quick, easy and fun crochet projects. Today I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way of redecorating your house or just by just adding this little accessory called a bunting. So you can just string it across the house, make it in different colors, in different sizes, mix and match. You can just have fun with it while you're playing around and uh, it makes a really beautiful addition to your house. And it's very easy to make. We will be making these granny triangles. These are very basic, very easy and very quick to make. So I hope you enjoy this video and if you do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that the next time I upload a video you get to know. So to make these triangles, these granny triangles for the bunting, we need thread. Today I'm using a little thick thread. I am using a 3.5 millimeter hook and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. So to make this granny triangle, we first need to make this little uh, round here around which we will make the triangle, which can be either be made with a magic ring or like I will today, I'll chain five and then join it with a slip stitch. So let's get it started. To first start our project, we need to make a slip knot. Now to make a slip knot, you take your thread, wrap it around, your fingers like this so it marks an X on one side and there are parallel lines on your nail side then you take your thread the one that's in front over the one behind it and pull this thread through and that's your slip knot now you simply put your hook inside this and pull the longer thread like that and there you're ready to start crocheting and now to make this circle we first need to make chain 5 now to chain it's very simple it's a very basic but very important stitch you'll be using it a lot in crochet so you take your hook make sure it's facing towards you take your hook under the thread and pull it through your slip knot and as simple as that that's your first chain let's try that again take your hook under the thread grab it by the hook and pull it through that's your second chain we'll make three more this is because I wanted a slightly larger hole so that it's easier to work on and it looks like one of the stitches of the granny triangle and again grab your yarn pull it through the three one more four and one more five and now to join these two points we'll make a slip stitch slip stitch will not add any stitches to our project but will simply help to join the two points so to do a slip stitch, you take your uh, hook and insert it into the first chain that we had made, like this. Now grab your yarn and pull it through the chain, like that. You get two loops, now you grab the same yarn and pull it through your loop. And that's your circle complete. Now we'll be working in this space for our first triangle. Now to make our first triangle, we first need to make three chains that will give us height and count as our first double crochet. So again, like for a chain, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull it through your loop. That's your first again you grab your yarn pull it through that's your second chain grab your yarn pull it through and that's your third chain and now we will do what we call double crochets double crochets is a US term in UK terms it will be called a treble but today I'll be using double crochets or the US terms 
So to make a double crochet, again you take your hook, make sure it's facing towards you. Grab your yarn, you've gone under the yarn. Now insert your hook inside this middle of the circle that we've just made, inside the middle. You can take this tail that you have hanging and if you hold it like that, you can weave it in, you can weave it in, right? So it makes the project a little more sturdy. So now you've grabbed your yarn, you yarn over, insert your hook inside, grab your yarn again, pull it through so that you get three loops on your hook and again grab your yarn. Now pull it through the first two loops, again grab your yarn and pull it through the remaining two loops and that's your double crochet we'll make one more again yarn over insert it into this hole grab your yarn again so that you get three loops on your hook grab your yarn pull it through the first two again yarn over pull through two so that's the first side of our triangle now we need to separate this group with a chain three so we make three chains that's we yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through three that's your chain again we'll make three double crochets so yarn over insert it inside the same hole that we were working into i'm still holding my tail next to my project so that it gets weaved in Yarn over, so that's three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. That's one double crochet, two more to go. Yarn over, insert into the hole. Yarn over, get three loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. That's two again. Yarn over, insert, grab the thread. Three loops, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's the second side complete. Again, we'll separate it with the three chains. Again, we'll make three double crochets in that same hole. Make the third side of the triangle. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and again yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and one more yarn over got three yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so now we join it to the last with the chain three So now to join the last side, we will use a slip stitch to and join this to the top of the third stitch of the first chain that first chain three that we had done. So that we'll count one, two, and three. So for on the top of this chain, we will insert a hook like this so like you can see you can see can you see this V over here I've inserted it right in the middle so we have this V on our hook as well and then we'll grab our yarn pull it through get two and pull the same loop through and that's our three sides of our first triangle done now let's get on to our subsequent rounds now to start we will want to start in this chain 3 space always so to reach this space again we don't want to increase any stitches so we'll do slip stitch so for a slip stitch just insert your hook in this space grab your yarn pull it through both loops so we've reached one now to reach again this space insert it inside 
grab your yarn and pull it again. So now that we've reached our chain 3 that we wanted to reach, we'll start by making another chain 3. So you'll find a lot of usage of the uh, count of 3. So like there'll be 3 double crochets, 3 chains, 3 double crochets, 3 chains. So that will be easier to keep count of and since it is a 3 sided triangle that will make it easy to remember. So now we are going to our next round for which we will chain 3 again. It will count as our first double crochet of the round. Now we'll make 2 more double crochets. So yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, one more, yarn over, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now to make the edge of our triangle, we need to chain three, one, two and three and in the same space that we are working in, we will make another set of three double crochets. So that's one and two okay. and three so that's one corner of our double crochet uh, of our triangle complete now these corners will be separated with a chain one so we just make a simple chain one now in this corner again we'll make three double crochet chain three three double crochet so we've got two corners complete again separated with a chain one and we'll make three double crochet chain three three double crochet in this space as well and I'll see you once you finish that So now that I've reached, I've made my three. So now that I've made my three corners, I'll simply make a chain one. And like we did in the previous round, we're going to count the third chain of the first three chains that we had made. So that's one, two, and three. And on the top of that, we are going to join this with a slip stitch. So again, insert it between the stitches so that you get this V these are the stitches you can get the V on your hook pull the yarn through pull the yarn through again and that's your second row completed now like we did for the previous round we want to start here again so we do slip stitch and one more Now for our third round, we'll start with our usual chain three, two more double crochet. Oops. And because we're making a corner, so we'll make a chain three, one, two, and in that same space we'll make three more double crochet one two three 
Now when we go on to the sides, the sides will always be separated with a chain 1. So we'll do a chain 1 and in this chain 1 space that we had made in this round, we'll make 3 triple, uh, three double crochets, right? So 1, 2, and three that makes for a side again we'll make a chain one and we reach the corner so we'll do three double crochet chain three three double crochet And we'll make three double crochet here we'll make one more chain in the corner we'll make three double crochet chain three three double crochet for the side we'll chain one three double crochet and chain one and join it with a slip stitch so once you've finished till these three double crochet I'll see you there so now I've finished this side and I've chained one and we'll join this to the top of the third chain that we had made in the beginning with a slip stitch so grab your yarn pull it through both loops and now it's as simple as that so you can make it as large as you want as big as you want we'll make one more row together and I think that should be enough for this project for me but if you want to make something else which is bigger larger that you can use triangles for so uh, you can go ahead and I'll show you the basics of how to do it and you can make it as large or as small as you want so now to reach again we need to reach this chain 3 space for which we will do slip stitch one two again one two three chains marks our first double crochet let's make our corner with two more double crochet and chain three one two and three and three more double crochet That's our corner. Now for the sides, we'll do chain one, three double crochet in the chain ones of the sides. So we've done chain one here, make three double crochet here. One, two, and three. Again, chain one make three double crochets here again chain one and now we've reached the corner so we'll do three double crochet chain three three double crochet and you'll do this all the way around where you do three double crochet in the chain one space and separate them with the chain one and the corners will be three double crochet chain three three double crochet and I'll see you once you reach the end so now I've reached the end I'm making my last chain and joining it to the top of the third chain over here and grabbing it through I will make two slip stitches to end my project in this space. And I'm simply going to now pull make pull the thread through one more time, leave a tail and cut off the end.
and just pull the thread through so that it comes tight and that's your granny triangle so to join this bunting I have simply done a chain 20 on this side and I have joined it with the same uh, design that we did for the sides so that's three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain one all throughout this side and then I've directly gone into three double crochet chain one without leaving any uh, space here to give it an edge and that's the way I've joined it and I put a chain 20 on this side so you can make as many as you like as long as you like it to be and, uh, and you can make it in different colors I've attached two different colors joined it with a third color so you can mix and match make it as large as small as you want depending on how you want to use it and I hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making these and if you did do leave a comment and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video till then see you later have a good day